Hello, my friends. Welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, February 7th, 2023. This is Jennifer. Well, guys, I have nothing to show you. Um, if you follow my social media at all, you know why, but I'm going to do a quick rundown today because it's been my entire life for the last week. Um, we got an ice storm here in Austin. Uh, Tuesday night last week was the last really normal time that we've had and we're still recovering. So early Wednesday morning, like 4.30 in the morning, we heard a weird noise and sleepy me thought my cats were like running up and down the stairs or something. And then uh, my husband got up to check and our son was awake because the tree that was in between my house and my neighbor's house and directly outside of my son's bedroom window a giant portion of the crown of the tree like the top of the tree it was basically two big pieces and then lots of pieces on that one of those sides just fell completely off it broke off the tree it landed on our house it landed on our neighbor's car and both of our cars and so that was wednesday it was still raining there was still ice it took about, I don't know, 24, 36 hours to get things kind of moving. I called a tree guy and he was like, this is an emergency. Just get your insurance to say you can uh, get this removed and I'll be there. And he was, and he was amazing. If you're in the Austin area at all, um, Austec tree services were phenomenal, phenomenal. I mean, literally he had a crew here within like four hours of me calling to tell him that our insurance had said to go ahead. So um, the tree is gone. Um, the whole tree is gone. First, they took away all of the debris and the stuff that was on the cars. So like our cars were just covered with sawdust and whatever. Fortunately, our neighbor's truck, which was fairly new, took very little damage, like almost none. Most of it landed on my husband's car. The top of his car was just like crushed. The windshield was busted. Stuff was broken all over the place. Um, my car has a lot of cosmetic damage and one possible like issue with the door I think it's leaking um I just discovered that today but the tree guys did have to take the whole tree because it had started to rot in between where those two branches were joined and there's like a black spot that went all the way down into the roots of the tree so it was already dying um which is why when the ice got down into that rot and then it just expanded the water got down there and it froze and it just it just burst it apart so we lost a beautiful i don't know how old elm tree um we had previously two oaks in our backyard and an elm on the side the tree that's in front of my house is actually my neighbor's tree it looks like it should be my tree but it's actually my neighbor's tree so we went from three trees overnight to two trees and i'm just I'm just so heartbroken. Our oak trees in the back took a lot of damage too. Our our yard was full shade. My backyard was full shade before and now it is definitely not full shade. Um, but you know, things are moving. The insurance has already come and taken my husband's car. It's probably gonna be totaled, but they have to inspect it first. I have an appointment later this week with a local body shop for them to inspect my car and see what kind of damage it has. And then when that happens, we'll get a, um, a rental car because my car's drivable. There's nothing like mechanically wrong with it. It's just been beaten all up. To add insult to injury, we were without power. The day this happened was Wednesday, really early in the morning. By Wednesday afternoon, we didn't have power and we did not have power until Saturday. And Saturday, it turned on and off all day long. So we were living out of our pantry. I was boiling lots of water. I do have a, a gas stove. Our house never got as cold as, as it could have. I mean, it got down to like 50 inside the house. Lots of quilts. <laughs> and uh, we were basically just wearing layers and hats and gloves and, and just hanging out because there really wasn't anything else to do. Um, but we were fine. We ate the same thing over and over. There was like, you know, it, it wasn't a hardship. We didn't starve. It just, you know, was not very comfortable. And it was one more stressful thing on top of this giant crisis that we were having. Uh, I I might have had a minor breakdown when the insurance caused, called our case a catastrophe case. Um, that's a really big word. 
um, I just started for my own mental health. I had to call it something semi silly, so I started calling it tree apocalypse because that tree falling just was the beginning of a cascade of a million million things. So um, I haven't done anything that I had intended to do because we were just surviving and talking to the insurance and taking a million pictures and talking to tree guys and tow truck drivers and all of that kind of stuff. Fortunately, we were able to go, I think Friday, my husband and I went and we got, uh, we took my car out, which was a little scary, but we took my car out. It's, it drives fine. Um, nothing leaking from it, anything like that. I actually talked to my brother um, before I drove my car because he's a mechanic and I wanted to make sure it was safe to turn it on. I didn't know if the airbag might go off because it had been hit. Um, I did learn that you have to be moving and you have to be going a certain speed for airbag to back, airbag to go off a car that's in park. The airbags don't deploy. So that is the thing I didn't know last week that I know this week. Thanks to my brother for giving me some peace of mind on that. But anyway, so um, the reason I was telling you that is we were able to go to the grocery store Friday and get a few non-perishables that fortunately got us to today. I wanted my refrigerator to get back up to temperature for one. And um, also I didn't wanna be going to the grocery store the same day everyone else was getting power because I knew it was gonna be crazy. And I'm just now where I can stand up long enough to do something like that. And I wasn't sure if I would have the stamina to be there if their lines were really long and stuff like that. So I went today and it was fine. And it was the first time I've bought my own groceries in five and a half weeks. So that was really nice. Um, my refrigerator stocked up. My pantry is stocked up. So we have vegetables again, which I'm very excited about. Um, we lost everything in our fridge with the exception of the things we could fit in my husband's camping cooler. He has a Yeti cooler. And you know, I was skeptical about how much that cost when we got it. Guys, we put ice in the bottom of that thing on Wednesday and it still had ice in it on Saturday. And we never changed the ice because we didn't have any more ice. And yeah, so um, expensive, but worth it because we did eat out of that cooler for the whole time. And uh, it, it, it did save not everything. I mean, we had to throw like two or three garbage bags of things away, but it did save a lot of stuff from our, our refrigerator and freezer and made it possible for us to survive on what we had already before the storm happened. So yeah, um, pre-apocalypse, that was my week. I am hoping to kind of get back to normal, as normal as we can get with all the car stuff going on. And the house is gonna be inspected today and just all the stuff. And I will let you guys know how things are going. Thank you to everyone who reached out. Um, I was posting like crazy on social media because I was overwhelmed to the point that I I had to like, documenting it was the only thing that I felt like I could control. Like I'm going to document this process so that next year I go, holy cow, we survived this thing. So um, thank you everyone who reached out. We don't need anything. We have really good insurance. We are doing okay. We're fine. And I, I really appreciate everyone who's offered a plethora of things. I had people offer to let us stay, to bring us food, to what I, you guys were amazing. We were fine. We did okay. So I appreciate, I really appreciate all of the thoughtfulness. I'm gonna try to include a little bit of footage of our street here. And I will also include um, some pictures from during the process, like from the trees after it fell and then like, you know, after they were off the cars and etc. I will uh, try to get all of that added in because again, I like to document my life and this is one of the ways that I do it. And um, I really appreciate you guys um, hanging in there, even though this was a thoroughly non-crafty video, it was a lot. Um, it was a lot. So yeah, you guys have a really wonderful week. Have a crafty week. And if you have a tree that you love, go, go give it a pat for me because, you know, uh, it's definitely a thing you take for granted. And uh, yeah, I'm very sad about, I'm very sad about losing our elm tree. So yeah, you guys have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.